Hello viewers, uh, I am Ayaz Ahmed. Welcome back to my channel Elevate English Confidently with Ayaz. So today I will discuss most important phrasal verbs with you. So stay tuned with me. Now I will dive into uh, most important phrasal verbs. So let's start. So the first phrasal verb is first phrasal verb is look up. Look up. So its meaning is to 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 find information so to find information its meaning is so now I'll make a sentence I have I have to I have to look I have to look up the the meaning the meaning of this word in in the in the dictionary in the dictionary so the second phrasal verb is pick up Pick up means to to lift something to lift something its sentence is please 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 pick please pick up your pen your pen so you should make sentences by yourself so it would be better if uh, I will make all the sentences then it would not uh, be good it would it would be bad so you could uh, you could make sentences by yourself so and then I will Run into meaning is to to meet to meet someone someone un unexpectedly unexpectedly so sentences I ran I ran into an old friend I ran into an old friend at the hotel so this is the sentence the fourth one is pass out pass out its meaning is to faint to faint so now I will make a sentence then your concept will be clear so to faint she she has she has passed passed out from from the heat from the heat and exhaust and exhaust and exhaust
so <coughs> then next one is bring about bring bring about bring about meaning is to cause to cause or something happen to cause or something happen so it's the english meaning english to english meaning so we are learning english so we should think um, in english so don't uh, try to convert english into your own language if you will convert english into your own language then you will never ever uh, learn english language so you should learn english synonyms and tonyms it is see uh, with english to english meaning okay it would be better to you so uh, now i now i could make a sentence of it bring about to cause or something happen it's too much important so the the new the new policy the new policy aims to the new policy aims to bring to bring about to bring about the positive the positive changes changes in the office so yeah this is a great sentence i have made so to cause or something happen means bring about this is a phrasal verb most important phrasal verb this one is i have seen this in newspapers magazines and in i have seen this in many novels as well so this is too much important phrasal verb so that's why i have uh, got this uh, into your attention so to cause or something happen <coughs> so the next phrasal verb is cut cut down cut down its meaning is to to reduce to reduce the amount of something to reduce the amount of something is called cut down so now i will make a sentence mm. sugar sugar patients sugar patients should sugar patients should should get should get down should get down their sugar intake so this is the sentence i have made so the another phrasal verb is go on go on its meaning is to continue or proceed to continue or proceed to continue or proceed so now i will make a sentence so i have said before that you should make sentences by yourselves so then after your reading skill would uh, your writing and your reading skill would be good if you will make sentences by yourself okay so this is my recommendation i think you should consider this um, into your work so now the sentence is despite 
despite the challenges despite the challenges the the project the project must go on must go on so uh, these are too much important phrasal verbs i have said this so you should uh, remember these phrasal verbs next one is take up take up take up meaning is to start to start to start a to start a begin a hobby to start or begin a hobby so the sentence is i i decided to take off to take up i decided to take up for for a night walk for a night walk for a night walk yes so the another phrasal verb is uh, break in break in so break in is the another phrasal verb its meaning is to enter a building unlawfully to enter a building to enter a building unlawfully unlawfully so to enter a building unlawfully and uh, so i will make a sentence do not do not break in someone someone's do not break in someone's house uh, without taking without taking permission without taking permission so do not enter someone else house without taking permission so it's a, it's was a, its sentence so now uh, the another uh, phrase verb is cut down yo yeah. this is also too much important cut cut out sorry cut out its meaning is its meaning is to remove something to remove something to remove something is its meaning now i will make a sentence he he cuts he cuts out he cuts out he cuts out his his very background background so this is cut out so then get our get our means to to recover to recover from to recover from an illness to recover from an illness so you you will get you will get our soon you will get our soon then and then the next uh, phrasal verb is put on yes this is also too much important put on uh, like you know uh, this is no this is your shirt and if you will uh, put on means to wear it 
So put on means to wear something. Shirt or sweater. Our shirt, sweater. When you will wear something, then it is called put on. To wear something is called. To wear something is called put on. So he, he, he puts, he puts on, he puts on new sweater, new sweater, sweater. He puts on new sweater. So the next phrasal verb is uh, take off. Take off. Its meaning is to to remove something. To remove something. To remove something or to remove something or begin to fly begin to fly just like if a uh, aeroplane will take off uh, from airport then we will say that aeroplane has uh, took off from the uh, airport it seems so it's it is used for two meaning to remove something or to begin to fly so if we will talk about uh, some sweater or paint or anything else shirt if you will uh, take off means you will remove it from your body so uh, it is uh, being used for two sense sense uh, it is being used for two purposes so now uh, i will consider it as uh, as a sweater or, or a shirt so he he takes off he takes off his shoes he takes off his shoes and the final one is carry on this is also too much important i have seen this phrasal verb in many novels as well as uh, in many magazines and newspapers so, and there i uh, have found this phrasal verb so its meaning is continue continue <laughs> it is uh, used in a positive way so its meaning is continue now i will make a sentence uh, they 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 carry it they carry it out to to work with a team yeah to work with a team so thank you so much thank you so much i'm hopeful that you have understood these phrasal verbs these are too much phrase too much important phrasal verbs so thank you so much everyone if you have liked uh, this video then uh, tap on the subscribe button it would uh, motivate me so i will uh, make more interesting videos and uh, it would help you and uh, to learn your english language uh, in a good way thank you so much once again